The spoon swipe dahlia can be done with various spoons. Here I am just using a big dinner spoon to swipe these petals. I was approached by Doris from Doris at DF Design to do a collaboration with her using a big spoon in primary colors dahlia. Guys, do check out my inbox, my description box for our premiere time and date. Doris is an amazing artist and she had already gone ahead and tried one of my spoon swipes, several of my spoon swipe dahlias. Guys, do go ahead and check out Doris at DF Design. You guys are going to love her. Here is a dried result of today's spoon swipe. Black and white sunflower. I do hope you guys check out today's creation video. You're going to love it. Hello everyone, this is your girl Camille. I want to say thank you all for being here. Today I'll be working on a 11 by 14 inch canvas and I want to attempt a black and white uh, flower, um, you know, with a touch of gray or a touch of silver gray. And of course using some copper, you know, to add some contrast color in this piece. Here I am just adding the black base. I've already outlined the shape of my flower. I'll be using um, the white as a part of my base, but it's also my petal as well. It's gonna create a part of my petal. See here I am just pouring the white base, but this is gonna be, like I can mention, a part of my petal. So I'll be adding this white base and I'll be adding the pearl white, which is like a metallic, and then I'll be adding the silver gray blue. Beautiful color. Um, this is going to be like a monochromatic kind of a piece and I think it's stunning You know, it's like a sunflower, but it's in black and white So I do hope you guys stick around all the way to the end to check this video out You know, this is the spoon swipe technique and I wanted to share with you that you can create different flowers using the spoon swipe technique You've seen me done the dahlia flowers using the spoon I have done a lily flower, I have done a iris flower, and I've done feathers. So I do hope you guys, you know, check out the technique. Give this technique a try. It's for all of you to try. I'm so amazed to share with you and um, really happy that uh, you guys are sticking around and, you know, being a part of my journey and enjoying the whole process. All right, so whenever you swipe in, remember to wipe that spoon clean after each swipe. You'll watch me doing that. I do swipe, I do wipe the spoon after each swipe. For this particular flower, because the petals are a bit bigger and I'm using a smaller spoon, I do several swipes to make the petals bigger and more defined. All right, I do hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. Don't forget to share this with your friends and family. And of course, if you haven't subscribed us yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, hit all, so that you're notified each time I post a new video. This video is part of our Tuesday night premiere train with me, Holly, Laurie, and Nate. Do check out my description box for their time of premiere. And if you've missed it, go ahead and uh, watch it at a future date. We guys really do appreciate every single one of you for turning out on Tuesday, supporting us, cheering us on, you know, chatting with us in the inbox. And uh, this is what it's all about. I really do look forward to talking with you on Tuesdays. You know, you guys ask several questions. We get to interact. We do appreciate the turnout and i'm forever grateful guys here i am just adding a bit of black i want to mention this part here that i'm just adding a bit of black hair the black helps to um you know give the flower a bit more definition and uh you know make it look a, a bit more 3d it's just uh, you know like making it like coloring the white just you know add some life to it because i, I remember i mentioned this is like a black and white sort of a uh, flower right so i wanted to add some more black and realized that if i didn't um you know it would have looked a bit off so i wanted to add more black so i just want to mention that quickly to you that i am doing that just now 
all right so do enjoy the rest of the video i'm gonna be quiet do enjoy the music i will see you for the close-up of the wet result and the dried result so don't you go away see you at the end thanks
here it is the close-up of the wet result let me apologize when I was adding the copper the painting was out of range I'm so sorry about that so I just actually just cropped that out but it was just the same technique that I was doing I was just using one of those squeeze bottles with a fine tip to um, add these black and add in the copper um, in the center to create that beautiful design for the flower love it guys love the definition of each petals love how 3d looking this is love the color combination what do you guys have to say about this one let me know in the comment section below it is really amazing it's beautiful here it is dried has no finish on it it's beautiful it dried amazing the petals really you know shows beautifully using the spoon swipe technique creating beautiful definition here beautiful shape isn't this a beautiful technique that you guys want to give a try i want to inspire someone to get up and try this beautiful technique be creative create something amazing create your own do your own style just have fun with it and uh, remember that um, you know art is therapy it's not just fun but it's also a therapy and I do hope that you guys enjoy today's video and I do hope that um, we will see you next time on our Tuesday night premiere train right back here on Camila Moy Art bye